bench today. I got a 2000, oh, it's actually a 1999 Nissan Frontier. The instrument cluster is completely dead. I powered up it. Just the airbag light comes on, so it needs a full rebuild. Possibly may need to be reprogrammed as well. Let's get started. Looks like somebody may have already been in here. This thing got really dusty. On these, basically everything needs to be resoldered. You may be able to see right here. It's kind of cracking up. These all usually are pretty bad. So I usually just go over everything. I like to go over with flux just to make the solder flow better.
you could see that. That's how much the manufacturer, that's how much solder they put on there. And that is why it fails most of the time. So I went over everything pretty much. Now I need to clean off the flux.
probably clean that up also. I'll do that off video. I got it cleaned up a bit in there. So let's put it back in and see what happens. Yeah, it looks like it still needs to be reprogrammed. These instrument clusters are programmed using this adapter. It goes right into this slot right here, makes contact with the circuit board. As you can see, the file is mostly empty. So, for some reason, this programmer doesn't let me open files. Uh, so they would be displayed here. So what I do is I have a chip that's that has the, a good file on this. Um, there's a good file on this chip. So I just insert it into the programmer read it and then write it now because the file I just wrote is from another car. Uh, the mileage will be different. So the customer said that this truck has 180,000 miles. So I'm gonna have to write it on there. So I'll read what's on here right now. So it looks like there's 151,000 miles. I'll just edit it. Write it down. Now if I read, it usually gets it pretty close. All right, back on the workbench. Let's see what it does. Looks like it's working properly. Most Nissans have this self-test mode. That way you could check so the gauges are sweeping properly. Mm. 
these usually go up about halfway and that one goes up to there that's pretty normal so a little tip uh, do not remove these needles they uh, most of the time when you remove them it ruins the stepper motor back there and like many of you may know these are very rare clusters and you will not find one at a salvage yard and if you will you just got lucky they don't sell them at the dealer anymore I think if you do find one somewhere they're like five hundred dollars if you would like to send us your instrument cluster for repair I will include a link in the description to our website in the in the website there's gonna be all the instructions of how to send it how to send it where to send it and uh, we do this service for around a hundred bucks. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.